Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make 3D Mobius strip using Extrudalizer and exporting it to Lottie. The idea for this tutorial was inspired by a GIF I found on Reddit, the link to which you can see below. We're going to start off by making a curved wedge shape with the inner side convex and the outer side concave. We're going to use this shape as an element of the overall Mobius strip. Let's extrudalize the shape we've created with solid front and back and solid sides and Bezier segmentation set to 5. Now let's adjust the shape's position on the z-axis 600 pixels and then let's rotate it using X rotation and orbit control on about 40 degrees and then let's rotate the pitch 90 degrees. We'll go ahead and animate and loop y-axis orbit rotation and this will be the loop. Let's adjust the appearance settings. We'll parent the front and the back color and then we'll parent the stroke color to the side color and increase the edge stroke width to around one pixel. In order to create this appearance of an infinite twisting Mobius strip, we need to have an element that has rotation slightly different. So we'll duplicate element 1, and in element 2, we will adjust the X rotation from 60 to negative 60. And we'll, as we, you will see, it will make the rotation look different. And we additionally need to adjust Y rotation to rotate in the opposite direction. So that when we will overlap element 1 and element 2, they will both move in the same direction. Now we'll create another composition where we're going to create array 1 and array 2, which will contain 10 elements each, one with element 1 and one with element 2. But once we duplicate all the elements inside the array precomposition, we're going to use time remapping to offset the 10 second loop that we've created inside the element by one second descending. To make the next step a little bit faster and easier to make adjustments in the movement, we're going to pre-render element 1 composition and element 2 composition. We'll create another composition, which will be the master composition containing both the arrays. We're going to put the two array precompositions inside and look whether the rotation matches. If the rotation doesn't match, we will adjust the time remapping keyframes until the elements inside the arrays match perfectly. We will add a mask in array 1 and array 2. In each instance, the mask will hide half of the array. In one of the precomposition, the array will end in a short gradient going from color to zero transparency so that there is a gradual transition and you will see later why this is important. We will now go ahead and place back the original element 1 and element 2 compositions into the array so that we can adjust its color over time so there is a gradient moving as the Mobius strip rotates. Now as you can see it is very important to adjust the gradient very gently and gradually to make sure you can achieve the cleanest and the best transition between the two arrays and this way animation will look very smooth. We will look at the one second segment in both array 1 and array 2 to determine whether there is any overlap of the elements that doesn't look correct. And if there is one, we will adjust the stacking order of the duplicate elements in order to make it seem correct in 3D space. We will keyframe the exact one second loop with time remapping. Remove all the unnecessary keyframes and move the correct keyframes for the one second loop to the very beginning of the composition. And that's it, we're done. And you can export it using body moving plugin. Do not forget to uncheck glyphs and check hidden elements. And you can even create an HTML demo by checking the demo option export and you are done. <laughs>